Hello, hello, beautiful people. Patricia Neely here. Hope everyone's having everyone's having a good day. And um, we are halfway through the week, so that's a positive. So hang in there. You got two more days to go, and then you have the weekend. And I heard it's gonna be beautiful this weekend, so you have to get out and enjoy it. Um, I wanted to talk about the uh, the weather and uh, how it's starting to get nice. Um, I wanted to talk briefly about five steps to a healthier you. Now, we all know summer is on its way. And believe it or not, yes, we are in April. But April is going to be over sooner than we think. And then we have June, um, we have May, we have May, and then June, um, that's when summer starts. So you do have, still have time. I know people say, well, next year, next year I'll, you know, be ready. But you do still have time to lose some weight. I don't think you're going to lose 100 pounds if that's the case. But to be, you know, let's be realistic and um, you can lose 10 to 20 pounds. It's not impossible to do. You still, within enough time, a healthy way to do it, um, not starving yourself, but you still can lose that amount of weight or even more. It depends on, you know, what how you follow um, the steps and, you know, if you're consistent. Again, consistency is the key. If you're consistent in following steps and, you know, making sure you drink your water, getting your workout in, um, then you will see uh, better results. So, um, so I have five different steps to a healthier you. And um, these are basic steps, but believe it or not, sometimes we need to be reminded of what we should be doing and, um, you know, it just kind of reiterates that in our brain that we need to get going and get moving. So um, I know you've probably heard of this. It's a saying that uh, 21 days, it takes 21 days. With any habit, with anything you want to stay consistent with, it takes 21 days of you being consistent with it to make it a habit. For it to be considered a habit um, because that means that you are dedicated to it you're being um, disciplined with yourself and you're actually consistently doing exactly where you, the same routine on a daily basis and you're not missing any days of doing it whether you have to go earlier whether you have to go later um, you're still getting it done that day and you're still making sure every day you're doing it Depend if that's what you're deciding to do. So, uh, 21 days of healthy eating and working out will become a habit. So, if you start again, it's always baby steps because we don't want to start big and then we end up failing. So, small baby steps start adding some veggies to your meal. Um, some protein. Protein is important. Um, I think in my mind, and this is what helped me drop my weight, eating protein in the morning first thing. Because uh, first thing in the morning, uh, one thing I learned with doing, again, research queen, um, is if you eat protein in the morning, you actually um, allow your metabolism it starts, it jumpstart your metabolism. So faster versus eating a bagel or a muffin or anything that's sugary um, or that's just made up of sugar. Um, if you don't eat that first thing in the morning, well, you're ahead of the game because you're if you're putting protein in your body first thing and you're drinking, you know, at least a cup of water, um, what you're doing is jump-starting your metabolism. If you're not, 
what happens is you slow down the metabolism and it takes longer. So what you're doing once it's going to take hours longer for your metabolism to speed up and then get going again um, for you to be able to um, lose the weight that you want to lose. So it's going to take you longer. So I do advise, you know, I mean, I don't know, not everyone's a fan of eggs. I love to eat eggs in the morning and um, I'll boil them, I'll fry fry them, I'll, um, you know, eat them poached, um, scramble, uh, omelets, you could do omelets too. Again, there's so many things you can do with eggs, eggs and bacon, they're my favorite. Um, so that's something that I would um, recommend is starting your day out with protein. Um, so that's one thing that I do recommend because that becomes a habit. And I've learned to, you know, consistently do it so that, you know, your body, sometimes you have to switch it up so your body doesn't get used to just the protein. But um, you kind of get the idea is make sure you're more or less consistent with the protein, whether it doesn't have to be eggs only, whatever has protein. Protein bars, be careful with those because some have uh, some ingredients that are not the best. So do your research um, and find out which ones are the best. But um, one thing we don't realize too is that to lose weight, everyone thinks it's just, I got to hit the gym, I got to go exercise, I got to get my workout in. Not necessarily true. Um, 80% of losing weight is healthy eating. So it's what you eat. Um, It's important, that's why it's important to kind of monitor that. Um, And the other remaining percentage, 20%, is working out. So... Working out has a very small percentage. Um, we should get moving, get the heart pumping, but more or less the um, majority that you have to focus on is what you're eating. Um, you can have some, mm, some people feel differently. I think you can have a cheat day here and there. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It, it actually helps the body to to plays a little trick on your. You're used, you're used to eating, you know, salads, protein. You need that burger in between to kind of, you know, switch things up. And it allows you to lose weight faster. I, I had to do it as well. Um, so five steps that will help you achieve your goal if you follow them. You have to follow the steps and you have to be consistent. So number one is you should be drinking at least drink five 12 ounces glasses of water a day. Not a big deal because if you grab a cup, more or less, depending, more or less cups are not are more than eight ounces at the, these days. They're big cups. Um, you should be drinking a cup of water when you first wake up. And then have your breakfast, whatever you're going to eat for breakfast. Have You're going to drink something to bring down the food, so you should be drinking some water with that as well. Then you should be drinking water throughout your day. So, you know, before lunch, with your lunch, um, hours after lunch, if you have a snack after lunch, hours later. Um, with your dinner, and then before you go to bed. So, I mean, you can drink more than five, but minimally you should be drinking at least uh, five 12-ounce glasses of water. It's not a hard thing to do if you stay consistent. Um, It's not overwhelming, and that's just the minimal. You really should be drinking more if you, depending how much weight you want to lose, uh, the the trick to it is you want to drink depending on what your weight is. So let's say, out of curiosity, just to give everyone an idea, um, 
if you are, let's be realistic here, 180 pounds, divide that by two, you should be drinking 90 ounces of water per day. So you should bring, be drinking half your body weight of water per day so that you can lose more weight. It'll help to flush out the body, the toxins, and you lose weight faster. Another thing is, is avoid sugary drinks. So again, there's the juice, there's the soda, there's, um, there's a lot of, um, I guess you call them, I don't know if they're sparkling, they're not sparkling cider, but they're supposed to be drinks that you drink um, together. If you don't, if you can drink water by itself and you, it's because it has no taste, there are other drinks and I forget the name of them. Um, hmm, that'll come to me. Um, but those are drinks that have sugar in them and people don't realize that. So I kind of, what I did was, I kind of went natural and I would put some lemon and lime in my water. Or you could throw fruits in your water whatever fruit you want to throw in there. Just be careful not to put too much because, again, uh, fruits do So we want to be careful, and they're very sweet. So what I would say is um, if you could put a lemon or a lime in there, it's fine. Crystal light, I don't see any problem with it. Crystal light is great. I like crystal light. It's, you know, it's not... A fruity drink. It's not as sweet as you would want it to be, but it, it, there is some taste there while you're t getting um, your water intake in. So that's some um, some advice on that. Um, walking. So now it's getting nice out. Now is a good time to walk. So what I do is I have a Apple Watch. Um, and you can get a Fitbit. I know Galaxy Galaxy has has their own um, watch as well. There's so many different watches that that out there now that you can use fitness watches. So um, I have my um, Apple Watch. So it actually calculates um, my heartbeat, what my heart rate is. Um, and it also says um, how many steps I've taken throughout my day. So if you don't have an Apple Watch or if you don't have a fit fitness watch or any a Fitbit or the Galaxy Watch, um, your cell phone. Now, I know the iPhone has, um, if you go into, um, I usually just go and search my phone um, under health. And there is, well, there's one, there's an activity one too, but there's a health one that actually talks about the amount of steps you take, uh, stand hours, how many times you stand throughout the day, resting energy, um, how many times you move, your exercise, uh, walking or running distance, flights climbing, how many flights of stairs you've climbed, um, active energy, Exercise minutes, resting heart rate, walking heart rate average, heart rate variability, and vitals, heart rate. So how many beats per minute? Um, and that is in, I don't think you can see that, but um, the light is too difficult. It's in there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put a screenshot of it up so you can see it. But um, either way, it does have that. On here um, there's also an activity one too which um, also has the details on it as well so it tells you red is for your moves I believe uh, blue what's the blue uh, green is for the exercise and then blue is for standing and then it tells you how many flights you climb the distance the steps uh, workouts achievements so even if you watch a Galaxy watch, any type of fitness watch, 
um, you can, your iPhone has it on here. You go under, you can search. If you go um, into, you can, depending on what type of iPhone you have, you could swipe this way and then you search on the top and then look up health and it'll show you on there. Um, it's a little white icon, white app with um, a pink or reddish heart on it. Um, so that's one you can look for, and um, it will tell you the details. As long as you have, you have to have your phone on you. So if you know if you're at work or something, keep it in your pocket if you have it, or um, in your purse with you, and it will calculate that information, which is pretty awesome. Um, so that's important. Um, you can also get out. There's so many different um, trails that you can walk or run. Um, I personally don't like to run. Um, I prefer to walk. I know some people love to run. I like to I'll walk fast. Uh, I do some speed walking. Um, and then I'll walk and just kind of enjoy the scenery. But I could walk around, you know, 10 times if I need to. I don't like to run. I don't like the way my feet hit the concrete, um, and I don't like the way my knees feel when that happens, so I don't run. Um, but I do like to do Zumba. I love Zumba. Kickboxing is always fun. Um, aerobic spinning kicks your butt. So um, again, you can get out to the gym. You can walk the trail. You can do different things throughout throughout the week so that it keeps it, it doesn't, it's not the same thing and it doesn't become boring or repetitive. Um, you can change things up. So that's some options for you too. Um, one thing uh, that's important too is don't eat fried foods. Now I know we all love french fries and we all love all these fried chicken. I mean, you name it. I like it too. But I always say, eat things in moderation, and I've learned that. So as long as I'm not stuffing my face with things, even if I'm trying to diet and I want to have a piece of fried chicken, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't go eating three or four pieces of chicken, because then you're overdoing it. There's, there's, there's a point where you can do it in... In moderation and then you know drink some water as well and balance it out um, and then you'll walk it out as long as you're moving and doing some exercise you're okay but over overeating is not good so again that's something to kind of work out and, main, and maintain yourself um, and the last thing is this eliminate flour rice and sugar again I always say in moderate do things and eat things in moderation so um, I do love rice um, flour you know there's a lot of things that have flour in it um, I personally make my chicken with flour so again you know it's in moderation if you're not using it all the time um, I don't see the issue with it. I just think you just need to moderately, you know, not eat too much of it. Not eat too much of one thing is the, is the key to losing weight and getting healthier. And that's kind of what I think. Um, so these are the five steps that I kind of gathered um, after doing my research and kind of going through what I what I do. Um, as far as a workout, workout should be two to three days out of the week. Um, should be about 30 minutes. I mean, sometimes you can get in 15 minutes and get a great workout. So 15 to 30 minutes, two to three days out of the week. week. And um, I think that's pretty much it. This one was a good one. Um, it was straight to the point. Um, well, one thing you have to determine is how bad you want to lose the weight.
okay? Because, you know, I speak to people all the time and it's just, you know, yeah, I'm not losing. I want to lose it. And it's like, are you following the steps? Are you following directions? Are you doing what um, you're supposed to be doing in order to lose the weight? And half the time, this is 99, I want to say 60% of the time, they're not doing what they what needs to be done. And you have to determine how bad do you want it. Because one thing with me is I wanted to drop the weight so bad that I didn't care. I was actually going ahead and following the steps and taking the products that I have purchased um, through the holidays. I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't. It is what it is. I love the holidays. Um, I love tea sweets, but I knew I wanted to be happier in with myself, like with how I was looking. Because if you're not happy with how you look, then you got to change it, okay? Because that could go, it could get, Further deep, if people get going through, go through depression, and that's how people become obese, is they go through depression because they don't like the way they look, they don't have the the drive, and you know no one to push them to kind of lose the weight, and uh, you know they get into depression, and some you know push through, and some you know they just stay as is because they they don't have the motivation to to go ahead and. and push through but you have to know within your yourself um how bad do you want to lose this weight you know where what size do you want to wear what size do you want to drop to what do you want the scale to say um it's important to know that within yourself because then that means you're going to push harder no matter what. No matter if you get temptation to eat certain things, you're going to push through and say, I'm not going to eat that. I want to lose this weight. I want to be this size by this a certain amount of time. And uh, as long as you stay consistent and push through it, and um, you will drop the weight. I mean, because I thought I was, it, was, it wasn't going to happen for me. But, I mean... And God, you know, I pushed through no matter what. I knew what I wanted, and I, I was fed up, and I'm like, I got to do it. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful that I was able to drop the weight. But you have to stay consistent because I was very consistent on it. You know, I did slip up here and there with different meals, but you know what? I still pushed through because it's important to do really want to do it you'll do it so just wanted to share that with you um i do have a um free guide to help you too it's called um jump start my weight loss journey guide and um you can get that if you actually go onto my blog patricianeely.com and right on it, you can put your name and email address. And what it'll do, it will send you an email that you have to confirm your subscription to the email that you're accepting to receive the guide. And once you confirm it, you'll receive the email with the guide in it. And it's very helpful, some helpful hints that you can kind of, um, besides the ones I gave you today, there's some other helpful hints there that um, can help you too. So, um, by all means, go ahead. It's free. It's a free guide. And um, if you're interested in um, actually seeing, um, having me introduce you to into what I did to lose weight, um, shoot me a comment, um, send me a private message. You know, I mean, losing weight is kind of a sensitive issue, so sometimes private messages are better. So, you know, no one knows what you're doing. Um, so I would say um, either leave a comment or send me a private message, and uh, I'll be happy to help you. And we'll...
as many people as possible because not everyone knows that you, you can drop the weight um, sooner than you think. So hope this was helpful. Hope everyone has a good day, good evening, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.